Um, anyway, so let's talk about what if. Yes. Uh, what? So what if? Let me start off. Releasing an episode every day, which is until great. December thirtieth. I love it. Um, yeah, started on Friday. So can I start this off? You. How's that? Go ahead. I'm great. You know what I thought about on the YouTube channel? I'm gonna have to beep that part out because that'll be like the beginning part of this segment. Which, by the way, well, whose fucking fault was that? Here's another one you get a fucking beep out. Well, it's only the first thirty seconds. Um, by the you way, you know how long thirty seconds the, is? Hey, by the way, if you're already here, thank you. But if uh, you're listening just to the podcast, youtubecom slash at off panel off topic, check it out. Yeah, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe, smash that subscribe button. Do this to five hundred subscribers. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about what if. So let's talk about what if. Um, first things first is that um, I, if you're talking about sheer entertainment, real quick, point of order. Yes. Shit. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> I want to quickly say, are we going to break down each? Ep- we're going to do like an I overview just, of wanna, our thoughts and I then wanna, do like a quick rundown wanna, of each episode. I want to talk about. Why I want to talk about my, yeah, yeah. I want to talk about the whole overall right now. Yes, okay. I'm with you. (sighs) You fucking broke my train here. (laughs) Okay. Whip Um, whip swing your web. (laughs) So, (laughs) shut up. So as as sheer entertainment, these two seasons, uh, season one and season two thus far of, um, great. While I'm making my point, let's fuck with the thing. Dick. So, uh, is, in terms of you know sheer entertainment, these shows are great. I love the animation style. I love the chances that they're taking, all that stuff. But my overall ultimate thing about what if, and it has been since last year, is what are we doing here? And what let's let's look at the comics. Why did the first? Because when I was growing up, uh, the what if that I remember very fondly is Volume Two, which came out in the nineties. And that had stuff like, what if Steve Rogers had refused to, to stop being Captain America? Very dark. He ends up getting murdered by fucking Henry Peter Guyrich of S.H.I.E.L.D., okay? Um, what if Daredevil had killed the Kingpin? During the Born Again, famous Born Again Frank Miller storyline, Kingpin takes everything from Daredevil. He takes his job. He gets rid of Karen Page. He takes, takes his, his home. Everything, right? And Daredevil, at the end of his rope, goes to Kingpin... And while he goes through security, he grabs one of their guns, one of the security guards' guns, because they don't know he's Daredevil. They just think he's some blind, homeless dude. Mm. And Kingpin has orders to let him through. So he steals the gun, and he points it at Kingpin, and Kingpin just laughs at him and beats the fucking shit out of him. And that is the lowest. He basically just he defeats Daredevil so to the core, beats the shit out of him. But in this storyline, in the what if that I read, he actually kills Kingpin. And it's a really dark storyline. And in that storyline, Karen Page, instead of getting uh, clean, she ends up dying from a heroin overdose. So I really liked all the dark shit like they, that these artists and writers would take these scenes or these moments from Marvel Comics and be like, hey, what if this? And what was the original what if? It was writers, right? It was uh, it was uh, readers writing in to be like, "Hey, why did you guys kill Gwen Stacy? Why couldn't you let her live? Hey, why did Jean Grey have to die? Hey, why did this happen? Why did that happen? All this stuff." And somebody really smart at Marvel Comics was like, "Idea for a comic book? Why don't we take all these readers' questions and these letters about these monumental Marvel moments?" Do you like that alliteration? Yeah, I thank did. you, Stanley. Monumental Marvel moments. Ah, oh, come on. I never accidentally alliterate. There you go. And um, let's take all these mar- monumental Marvel moments and write stories about what would have happened if, if, if the readers had their way almost was, was the point of the original comic, right? So, yeah. okay, okay, base that. So then this show should be the what if of all of the audience of the mcu going hey why did this happen instead of this and i have to be fucking honest none of these fucking shows or episodes are answering questions that anybody asked let alone me or that i need the fucking answer to what if zombies that's not a fucking question that's not a question what if zombies let's just do zombies is so popular let's just do marvel zombies and here's an excuse to do it i 
fucking don't care, and none of the episodes this season so far mean anything to that's me. The point, though. except for the end of it. You're right. That's all. But it, I see. I think that's the your, difference. I your think- point. Your counterpoint makes sense in the context of the fact that. It doesn't matter. That's the point of the show is that yeah. it's a way to be like it's an Elseworlds for the MCU, which is pr- cool. But now you're fucking now you're bringing shit into the actual MCU, these characters and stuff. So now you're not it's not so much an Elseworlds. And with the multiverse, let's be honest, you've fucked up your entire ability to have any sort of foreshadowing or any sort of really incredible moments that happen like a like a character's death means nothing anymore in the mcu why because you can always go back before that person died in the multiversal timeline and grab them again in case you need them ever again right like tony stark they have an opening they have a door i'm sorry they have a door for robert downey jr to come back into the mcu any fucking time they want which is fine but because of that his death in Infinity War or Endgame means nothing to me because I know it's not real and I know it's not final. And that is what comics have always had an issue with. And now the MCU has opened a door that while entertaining and f- a room full of possibilities that you didn't have before, it also severely limits how much you can affect me emotionally. Yeah, I don't know if I agree with that, but... Uh... That's your shitty opinion. No, <laughs> just kidding. You're lucky I don't do spit takes, motherfucker. <laughs> um, no, but I think that I I had my own issues with how season one ended, where they made it like Avenger multiverse Avengers kind of thing. And they have another episode like that in this one. Which okay, you, which I understand your concern, but I Winter but, Soldier, give me Red Guardian. What the fuck are you doing? Winter Soldier would have been the Avenger. Shut up, dude. What? I, I I like that episode. What? Eighty Eight Avengers was fun. You didn't like that episode? No, you I like hated anything? it. I fucking hated it. You didn't it. like uh, T'Chaka or uh, T'Chaka? T'Chaka. Uh, uh, I liked most what of was it. T'Challa's dad's name? T'Chaka. It is T'Chaka. Yes, I like most of it. I just. Like I said, you you your idea when you're talking about 1988, by the way, a guy who's nobody's supposed to know about, the Winter Soldier. How do you know he's the world's greatest assassin? Uh what's his dad's name? Mr. Stark. His dad's name. Uh Howard. How the fuck do you know Howard? Oh, I'm in Shield. Ah, fuck off, man. How do you know? I just don't get how you can't have fun with it. I just don't get it. Give me Red Guardian. Who cares? What are you why don't you calm down? Because I I, I feel the opposite of you. I am in- thoroughly enjoying this season. I I'm enjoying it more than the first season. I, I enjoyed the lot. Cooper, are you watching this? Yeah, he's back in his he's backing that thing up. Scratch his butt. Come on, he's like twerking on on you. <laughs> that was bizarre. He's um, never done that. To, oh, he I've does been, it all the time. I've been He's enjoying twerking. this up ep- this season. I'm not saying I haven't. I'm just saying it like sounds like you aren't. I'm trying to tell you that there's a reason for the for the original Mar- What If comic. What was it designed to do? Yeah, but over it the years, just, it's changed. Has it? Dude, there was a series about uh, there was a What If of Peter Parker turning into Sheep Boy because he got bit by a radioactive sheep. That's what the. That's a different comic. No, it's yes. not. What the was the no. humor magazine? Yes. No. Yes, I think no. you're- No. <laughs> I'm not going to look it up because I don't want to be wrong if I'm wrong. I know you're wrong because there was a what the, which is which was a humor magazine. Oh, how about fuck off? Is that what- <laughs> <laughs> Can I name that one? What the fuck? <laughs> From Marvel Comics. We're out of ideas. <laughs> um, uh, but- That's all I'm saying. Okay, I think no, but what I I I have a totally different perspective on it because I viewed always have viewed this stuff as here's this interesting take for these characters. Here's an opportunity for uh, a certain actor to get to play this character again, or a certain um, different angle on the character. And I I do like that they went with this route of basing it in the MCU and. 
telling yeah. us different stories. I have you kind of had I, to. I got yeah this way, and I which got, is cool. And I got to disagree with you. I I like the idea of a 1988 Avengers, and um, I do too. But you did it wrong. The Winter Soldier thing, I don't care. Come on, I don't he's care. he's the only dude who doesn't have powers in the whole fucking bunch, and he's in a jet. Oh, I love the fact that we got Lawrence Fishburne back. Uh, as as so do I. Uh, the what was his name? Giant Man. Well, Bill yes, Foster. That giant. Bill, Bill Foster. Goliath. Listen, you're not hearing me. I loved that episode. I fucking hated the 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 um, artistic choice. Kurt Russell came back too. Oh wow. What did, what what was what's the issue with it though? With that one? Yeah. The Winter Soldier. Also, that's really the only a- almost thing. every what if has had like a happy ending. Uh, Most of the what dude, if. Dude, the first season was dark. There were so many bad endings in the first. What, one. Like, uh, fucking, uh, Doctor Strange. Right, uh, but but when, by by the way, the whole episode where uh, Hank Pym kills all the Avengers. Fuck off. Yeah, I'm not saying like I think overall this is a better season than the first season. I'm enjoying more episodes of this season. I, I just don't understand why you're so what what I, what you're mad about. I'm not mad. I just I I am disappointed that they're not more in the spirit of the original. And now I sound like assholes who are like, oh, Miles Morales isn't the... Yeah, you know what I mean? No, the spirit of the original. Like, it's not yeah. what you were expecting. It's not what you necessarily I, thought I, it was going to I be. will say this. The animation style is awesome. I love that they've gotten a lot of the original actors to voice those characters again. Um, that gives me... That tells me that... It, that gives it a legitimacy to the cartoons that is a little more you know you know it just it yeah. lends a legitimacy to it so what i liked mm. about what i've liked about this season is they're doing more of like styles uh john like they're doing more genre stuff whereas like nebula the first episode nebula joins blade the runner. nova Corps, very much like blade runner cyberpunk style uh also nobody asked why nova why nebula didn't join the nova how come nova nebula didn't join the nova car nobody can't, fucking I, asked I who nobody cares? fucking asked who cares? The, nope. This is their opportunity to do weird shit in the MCU Fuck that they couldn't you. get away with in the movies. I oh, know. Uh, so then, yeah, episode Fair. two was Peter Quill attacked Earth's Mightiest Avengers, so it was 88 Avengers, which was fun and awesome, and I dug it, but you're a bitch. <laughs> uh, we had the original uh, Captain Marvel. Marvel uh, is joining the Avengers. But see, what I think was cool about this is it almost could work in the main what MCU. Mean Marvel joining the Avengers. What? The the lady from Captain Marvel. She was supposed to be Marvel. Oh, oh, Marvel. I thought I said yeah, Mar-Vel. yeah, yeah. I, I I honestly was thinking of the blonde dude from the comics. Yeah, they made him a woman. They they fucking woked it. <laughs> <laughs> they took an egg and they woked it. Um, <laughs> they cracked it and woked it. Uh, Thanks a lot. Episode three is Die Hard. It's Happy Hogan Saves Christmas, which I like. Watch that one today. Um, again, what are we doing? Ugh. <sighs> It's fun. First of all, I was saying it the whole episode to my wife, and it's not just because I have a man crush on Sam Rockwell. Sam Rockwell is great. He's an amazing actor. Dude, he came back to be Justin Hammer, and I've been saying for a long time, bring him back. Yeah. And I think- The only good part about Iron Man 2. Here, hear me out. Put your tinfoil hat on. Hear me out. They brought him back for this episode of What If to gain interest- from people to see if they want to see Justin Hammer come back because I think he's going to be the main bad guy in Armor Wars, or he's going to have some involvement in Armor Wars. He should. He should because he did in the original. Keep in mind, he's- it's also going to be a movie now and not a show, so you could very well get Sam Rockwell to do it. Mm-hmm. So I think that might be something. That's what I took away from this. I mean, it's a very silly. It's very their take on Die Hard. Um, it is. It, there are a lot of funny, interesting moments. Can, but I will say, what are we doing? Can we just, with Kat Denning's Darcy character, can we pick a fucking lane and what her personality is? Because <laughs> how can she be an intern for uh, in Thor for what they're doing in that? With um, is it yeah, but they make a joke Scar- about it. Have you ever had a paying job? Nope. But why do they make her seem so smart, but then so dumb? I just don't get it. Like. I don't know. I I think they 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 make her character like weirdly silly in this, and I I don't mind I don't it. I mean, she, it's true to the character, I guess. I just feel like she was so much better in Wandavision. I think 
her and again yeah you know what that's not you know it's a multiverse i guess so we had but but like it seems like in the first two thor movies she was clearly the over the top really smart but kind of silly sidekick comic relief Mm -hmm. she's kind of that too in wandavision but she adds more depth to the character and then we go back to this i don't know i just feel like her character's I have mixed feelings about Darcy. They, they do weird things with that character. Sorry. Um, really like that episode. Episode four, what if Iron Man crashed into the Grand Master? This one is really out there too. Mm-hmm. But I think I, I think it works in, in a way. I don't do you know remember to... when Oblivion came out and uh, I was going to put two... Uh, um, oh, your album. Uh, I was going to put two covers on it. And yeah. then I realized how fucking difficult that would have been with the legalities and the and the fees and all that shit. Yeah. And I said, "Fuck it, hey, you have that McDouble trouble, and then also that remix you did of one of my songs, and I just borrow those." It feels like this year already we've had a filler episode because you made this one for last season, but it wasn't good enough for last season. And they took that and added it to this storyline. Unless they redid it. For this season, like they, if whatever problems existed that they didn't want to, you know what I mean? Like, say you had the episode, but there were that there were issues with the episode. I don't know why they that, cut Gamora's episode from last season. I don't know why they did that. And it's re- not really Gamora's episode. It's fucking Tony Stark's. They just kind of tacked that storyline. I, I I I enjoyed the shit out of it. It was again, awesome. Again, you. I, it was get, fun. I see where you're coming from, but at the same time, if you just accept that this is the MCU. Doing genre shit, so I like ex- we're gonna we're gonna yes. do a Mario Kart Death Race style cool fucking episode. I with agree. Tony Stark. I agree. I think we're both saying the same thing. Yeah. In, in but from different sides of the fence. Like you didn't think it was I cool understand. when he made that car out of the when he uses Iron Man armor to make that fucking race car. That was pretty. Oh, cool. dude, most of that was awesome. Like, and then when he lands and he fucking turns back into it's Iron not Man. Not that Come I on. didn't enjoy it. It's just again, when you're thinking about like what the MCU is meant to this point, uh, I love that Jeffrey Wright is the watcher. He's got the perfect voice for it and everything. Um, I love the intro every week. I never skip the intro because it's just when they when the, when they have the eye and they move out and it's I am the watcher. And that that uh, music is like, doo, 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 you know, yeah. the horns and shit. It's really epic. Even if the episode ends up sucking ass, I still got to see the intro. So by the time this goes live, episode seven will be up, and that is going to be uh, Kate Blanchett reprising her role as Hella. That'll be fun. Um, and uh, the man, I think it's her and the Mandarin are teaming up. Should we talk about the one we saw today? And, the one uh, that how, came out on Wednesday, yes. Well, basically, the fact that proves that all the grifters are grifters and I'm, don't really believe what they believe, because if they truly believed in stuff that was woke and fighting a ba- back against that shit, they'd be all over the fucking internet about this episode. But they don't really care because it's not making them money. Well, let's just do a quick search here. But I think you're right because I haven't seen. You have. I your, see a lot your, of the grifter shit on my. Well, Twitter. Your, your notifications are way different than mine, so you should have seen. But yeah. in but the so interest the of fairness, we're, call, we're gonna. It, it's it's Kahor- called what if Kahori shaped Kahori. reshaped the world? Which, th- okay, so this is where you can get on board with this show, right? And what I what I really liked is, okay, let's let's take this multiverse concept and and use it to create a totally original new character. They've done that in that Strike Force game. They've created at least two new characters. And Agent Coulson is a a character that was an original MCU. Mm -hmm. So they've done Mm -hmm. it in the past. Yeah. And I think it's such a cool idea to use that concept and and do it. Shit, Darcy's an MCU character. Speaking of Darcy. Is she? Is she? Yeah, she's not from the comics. No. Not even, no. Yeah. Um, yeah, I haven't seen any, um, any Grifter episodes, any now, Grifter videos before, on it as before I'm we talk, through. Before we talk, we don't need to talk about this episode, because we just don't. You can watch it. All I want to say is, based on that ending, okay, I mean, that is clearly a fucking, like, a, a, an attack on colonialism. It's an attack oh, yeah. on, you know, the Spanish invasion of, of the New World. It's It's literally saying... It's almost saying this is the way we would have liked it to happen so, instead. W- what I like about this is the same thing that I loved about. Per- How much more woke can you get than that? Quote uh, unquote. 
Yeah. Cause Which is funny because they attack something like Prey yes, for being like yes. woke and shit. And I'm like, so is this. This is this, this is even worse because she takes it to the fucking Spanier, Spaniards. They fucking slaughter them. Yeah. She takes it to Queen Isabella and is like, hey, I'm going to take your I'm throne, gonna bitch. I'm going to fucking kill you and then destroy if you cross me and then destroys her throne. Like, well, no, she says like she has will very, find peace. No, she <laughs> has socialist. Like, listen, your health is. Is is as important as uh, is yeah. yeah means our health. That's a hugely socialistic idea, dude. Yeah. Oh and my then god. And she destroys the throne and, to and symbolize you know what like. Yeah. Pisses me off is that it makes a lot of sense to me. But you could find, you could walk out on the street in any busy city and ten people that the first ten people you ask, hey, da da da, what about this? They'd be like, fuck that shit. No, no, that's that's socialism and shit, and they don't even know. That that's better for us as a society because they've been fucking brainwashed since birth into capitalism. And I don't care what anybody says about me saying this because fuck capitalism. We've already dude. said that once this episode. I'm just saying. Um, it pisses me off. I think this is the best episode of the God. season so far. Um, Our episode right now? No, I'm talking uh, about uh, Kahori, right? Kahori. Kahori to shape the world. I think that's the best episode of the season. But. And that's saying a lot for me because I've enjoyed every episode that I've watched. Yeah, it's um, good. <laughs> uh, but no, it, it 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 took chances, and I I will always appreciate them doing something. But the ending does frustrate me a little bit with like Doctor Str- Evil Doctor Strange showing. Thank up. you, thank you. Right? It, yeah, you like, couldn't just yeah I, stop it. Thank I you. don't. I no, I agree. I think I think the the Guardians of the Multiverse I'm all and shit. or whatever they called it, I think it sucks because I don't want this shit. If you're going to do this, don't make it inter- interconnected in any way. I don't want a fucking parallel MCU. The whole appeal of this to me is playing in that world and using that world that you've already spent years building up and do weird shit and do different things and create a character that works in this context. Like, I don't know, man. I, I think... No, I hear you. That was the one thing where I'm like, ah, really? Because I don't care about heartless Doctor Strange or evil Doc, whatever they want to call him. I don't care. I just don't... Yeah, who told them that this is a character we want to explore And, I, and again, I want to bring back season one. That was my biggest complaint, that the last three episodes of that season were connected. I was like, fuck that. I already have that with everything else. Well, your six right, fucking... Alarm box? No, I'm not done. Oh, Bill Love Shop here with Jake and Tyler.